Well, if you throw away the scorecards, Pep has Mayweather where he wants. This is his opportunity, but he needs to step it up in a big way to make anything interesting occur here. Final half minute of round seven. Floyd Mayweather just dominating Tony Papp here on a Sunday night in Atlantic City, New Jersey. Cap off a very busy weekend in the world of boxing. In this very ring on Saturday, Freddie Norwood kept his title against Gennaro Rios, stopping him. Take it to the corner of Tony Papp. Fortunately, it's Cable. Well, Tony Pep a bit more eloquent than those last comments. And Tony, a veteran, wondering what makes a talented fighter as a veteran. There are a lot of ingredients that make up a good fighter. You know, you may be a good puncher, but you might not have a good chin. Um, you may not have heart, you may not have uh, the ability to recover from a knockdown. So there are so many ingredients that do make up a good fighter. That's why when you hear some guys say, gee, I don't know why this guy quit or why he didn't have, why he couldn't do it because he had all these abilities. But it takes a lot more than um, obvious observations, what you see on the outside. There's stuff inside, like I said, heart, and dedication, and the love of the sport. Well, Tony Papp talking about what makes a boxer tick, especially in the later rounds when you're a veteran, but uh, I think his comments at the end of round number seven about not being able to hit Mayweather with most apropos, and look at those numbers. 133 more landing. And they've thrown about the same number, and he said, I cannot hit this guy. And that's a testament. We've been talking about the absence of the jab landing for Pep in this fight. And that really has haunted him. You know, you don't land your jab. You don't drive the guy back. You can't set up anything else. And uh, believe it or not, a little frustration might set in now and then. I think that last bout, Mayweather hooks again to the body. The fact that he went to 10 rounds against Quayo did not knock him out. Probably will serve him in this bout. There is not that frustration. In fact, sometimes you, know, you just have to settle for what your opponent will bring to you. And I think the last bout, Bob, set up this test right here. Okay, you've been the distance now. Let's put you in with a stylist, a crafty guy. And Pep has shown a style that you can see where it succeeds if he wasn't fighting Mayweather. And that was a perfect example right there of Pep's comment of not being able to hit this little guy. He tried every angle and Mayweather just dipped away. Too small, you can't jab under him. Too fast, you can't jab around him. He has no answer to Floyd Mayweather and uh, he's joining the club. So do you think Mayweather is ready for that next step? I really do. I believe that this is a favorable stylistic matchup for him should he fight Gennaro Hernandez who fights just like this. And of course he's crafty. He has a little bit more tricks. It's a step up that way. But uh, Mayweather technically is uh, waging a very sound fight here. The one difference is that Gennaro Hernandez double jabs for than we're seeing here from Pep. Break, 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 break. Hey, when I say break, break. All right? And old Brown letting Tony Pep know the rules. It's been a clean fight. Now the man has been down. Mayweather has utterly dominated Tony Pep. Watch out! Watch out! The uppercut would seem to be a good weapon for Pep, but he's getting peppered too much. Mayweather just continues to attack Pep. Closing seconds of round number eight. Scheduled for ten all Mayweather. Round 
Nine. Veteran Tony Papp and Floyd Mayweather begin round number nine in the scheduled ten round junior lightweight bout. Bob Papa along with Dave Bontempo in another dominant round for Mayweather. Phenomenal numbers as far as Pep only landing three punches in the round, six the round before that. This is a guy who's a good boxer, having it taken away. A good boxer who has given a good effort tonight, but just cannot hit Floyd Mayweather. Cannot hit, but cannot catch. And one of the things that Mayweather's people will be looking at here is making sure that after he dominated early, he's not getting lazy here and getting hit needlessly in a fight in which they know he's already won. He's getting better defensively as this fight goes along. I want to know on CompuBox tonight if it's Saul Avila or Joe Carnicelli that has been keeping track of Tony Pep's landed because they have had a night off. That's Saul. Saul Avilar. And you get a good example why that's happening as Pep has been too high, too wide, and did not able to throw a second jab, which is important. Sometimes the first jab won't land, but the second one will. And Pep hasn't had that second jab. He's also taken a murderous attack to the body. But he's still punching as he doubles up with his left Break. hand. Break. Well, on a night in which a great champion like Michael Jordan may be departing from the sports scene we could be looking at a future champion albeit a different sport Floyd Mayweather well on his way to his 17th pro victory barring a disaster here against Tony Pep and this has been an impressive performance by Mayweather and it says that he has to pass brilliantly in the minds of his people if they're going to take another step up with him and he wants the best right now We'll stay here in between rounds and take you to the corner of Floyd Mayweather and find out if there's any frustration from the 21-year-old from Grand Rapids, Michigan about not being able to take out Tony Pepp. We'll listen to the dialogue between Floyd and his father, Floyd Sr. But he has clearly dominated Tony Pepp now through nine rounds of this scheduled 10-rounder. There's the bell. That's the end of round nine. Yeah. It's your last round, right? Uh-huh. Last round, that's what the center rate. Okay. Whatever you need. Okay. What's wrong with you do look? The last round. Stay downstairs, but look. Stay downstairs. But move your head. I want you to get cut in them, okay? Okay. Stay downstairs. Don't move. All right? Uh-huh. Keep your head moving. Keep your head moving. I want you to get cut, okay? Yep. Downstairs. Round the side. Up the middle. Okay. Seconds. All right, let's go. Seconds. Uncle out. Jeff we leaning against the rope. And Father Floyd. And what about that advice? A good advice. And also it illustrates the total lack of danger they feel. Sometimes guys say... Hey, you know, don't get caught because you've got this big lead. Their biggest concern is that he'll get cut and it will keep him out of action. Take a look at the jab numbers through nine rounds. And to me, this is the biggest story in the fight because Pep came in and is an excellent jabber and Mayweather has utterly taken it away from him by a ratio of almost four to one. And obviously the Mayweather clan looking down the road fearful of cuts, obviously. That would delay any future fights. Mayweather tonight got on top by being a slugger, but he stayed there by being a boxer. Second half of the fight, we've seen better defense from Mayweather, more jabs. He's not taking many chances, and he has been the boxer in the last five rounds here. Pep says, come on. 
So this will be the second straight bout that Mayweather has fought into the 10th round. Obviously, if he steps up 